Hello everybody, welcome back to the Forest Job and uh, it's a big day for everyone associated with Nottingham Forest today because we're going to be taking on Atletico Madrid in the second leg, the first knockout round of the Champions League and uh, you know, a lot riding on this game. Of course, the first leg which we played yesterday, go back and check that out if you haven't already, ended in a nil-nil draw and uh, that means that the onus is on us to win this match. Anything other than a nil-nil draw, which would lead to extra time and possibly penalties, of course, or a win for us today would see Atletico Madrid go through. So it's really, really important that we do try to get the result today. Before we get into today's game, we have uh, other results to talk about, one of which you can see on your screen right now. Uh, we're going to go over to the highlights for the games against Norwich, Fulham and Bournemouth right now to see how we did in the Premier League. And I can tell you, it's mostly good news, although someone scored a spectacular own goal, uh, which you will, of course, see in the highlights, which we're going to roll over to right now.
So Salasu was the unlucky recipient of the own goal of the season award so far. Honestly, I wouldn't mind as much if it wasn't for the fact that we cannot score goals of that quality, headed goals of that quality, for, on, at the other end of the pitch. It's absolutely ridiculous. Uh, I, I told him everything I could to head it away from goal, and he still managed to deflect it past his goalkeeper with a, a low diving header. I'm going to see if he can replicate that form up front at some point. I'm going to throw him up front if we need a goal and uh, see if he can get his head on the ball there instead. Anyway, as I said, today's game is against Atletico Madrid in the Champions League. We're going to go straight over to that match now. Of course, I have completely failed to line everything up so that we can get straight into the game because uh, we had notification of some international call-ups. The only England note uh, was that uh, Ramsdale has been called up to the England national team. No other English players, unfortunately, deemed good enough so far. But eh, we live in hope that perhaps one day one of our other players can get into the ranks. I'm looking at you, Eddie. I'm looking at you. Right, next match then. Atletico Madrid, as we know... This game is going to be so, so important for our future in Europe. We do need to win. It looks as though it's going to be the battle of the 4-4-2s once again. Frankie de Jong playing on the opposite side of midfield today. Interesting decision by the coach there. Uh, everybody in pretty good form as far as our team is concerned. So there's no need to make any massive changes. One thing I am tempted to do though. Oh, he's not in the best of form. So Molino's going to miss out. I was tempted to throw Molino onto the bench but uh, I don't see any point in doing that now Hernandez in excellent form so he will partner Arcas up front Arcas really is the first name on the team sheet at the moment and uh, no need to delay things any further let's get this game underway and see if we can get through to the next round of the Champions League of course I'm trying to remember now whether the next round is the quarterfinals and I think it might be uh, I think this is the round of 16, which means that the next game is going to be, if we do get through, of course, I'm counting chickens before they've even had the eggs laid that will result in chickens here. Um, but I do believe that uh, a win here would put us into the Champions League quarterfinals, which for a team that hasn't been in uh, the top flight of European competition for over 40 years is a pretty decent achievement, I would say. Uh, we're going to have to play things a little bit canny today, so no rushing into things. Going to play the ball around for a second just to get a feel for how Atletico are defending. And it looks as though they're using a fairly high press. Now we're going to try and get forward Wilson out to Zayfuck. Zayfuck's got the ball in a good area. If he can find the cross, he can do. Arcas stumbles a little bit, unable to get on the end of that opportunity. Wilson into Arcas again. Lodi deals with the ball and puts it out for a throw into Forest. Renan Lodi, of course, a, a French left-back. And uh, Ait Nori, our French left-back, is in the national team. So, got something on them already. Right, Kamavinga intercepts the ball, plays it into Arcas. He's got a chance here. It's 1-0 to Forest, And this could be the start of something very, very good. Indeed, I've started to cough. Well, well, well. I, I thought for a second that Arcas had maybe taken a, too much of a heavy touch initially. But he managed to get the shot away. And the goalkeeper will think that he could have done a lot better because it wasn't exactly into the very corner of the net. Indeed, it seems to have ghosted past the keeper a lot more centrally. And, well, that's 1-0. And immediately... That is the spectre of extra time and penalties out of the way. Now there can only be a winner. Of course, the away goal is still such a threat uh, against us because uh, this is the home leg for us. And you would think that would put us an advantage. But if Atletico are able to get an equaliser here, then, of course, that would put them through on away goals. So we still have to be very, very careful. Oh, Busquets does really well to win the ball there. We said last time how much this game means to him as a Barcelona player, a former Barcelona player. Unfortunately, he hangs onto the ball slightly too long. And now they're coming in the other direction. And Atletico Madrid, ball through to Koke. Great tackle by Worrell. Camavinga has it now. He's going to spread it out right. He can't hang onto the ball at the moment.
goalkeeper is able to deal with it and we're going to try throwing this out I was going to try and throw it out to Hloshek but it ends up at the feet of uh, Ait Nori now here's Busquets to Wilson and now Zafak back to Wilson takes a shot oh it's a good effort goalkeeper had to be sure of his uh, punch to make sure he didn't punch it back into danger but uh, Wilson has had a couple of long-range efforts go in spectacularly recently so it wasn't the worst idea in the world for him to have a crack there so he fucks behind Saul here comes into the box and Nubel deals pretty easily Kamavinga out to Hloshek that's a lovely pass to Hloshek Hernandez can't quite get to the ball Posford Plays it back to Vavro. Now De Jong in midfield, who spreads the ball out to the left. Renan Lodi into Saul. We've already seen Saul capable of uh, dangerous looking crosses. Oh, that's good from Zafak. That's very good from Zafak. And now Ait Nori on the left hand side to get things going again for Forrest. Kamavinga with an uncharacteristically sloppy pass. Madrid have got a chance here they end up losing the ball in the penalty area and Hoshek is leading the charge forward oh it's a bad pass again and the goalkeeper's coming out to deal with this and thankfully he does deal with it because we would have been in trouble if Atletico had got control of the ball now here's Hoshek again ball through the middle for Wilson he's in space What's Nori going to do here? He's thinking about a cross, but he ends up playing it back to Kamavinga. Busquets, well, that's never going to beat the keeper, but he had to make sure it wasn't going in. Now Oblak, Oblak, sorry, restarts play. Oh, Arkas might have just got that. But in the end... Atleti get away with it. Saul plays a 1 2 with Lodi. Now Koke into Griezmann. They're taking it seriously today. Griezmann starting. Saul has the ball. Will he get the ball in? No, he can't. So fuck with a very good block, which will result in an Atletico throw, but nothing else. Renan Lodi. Wilson tackles him, but only succeeds in giving away another throw in. Now Koke. Renan Lodi into the box. Nori deals. Oh, that was lovely. If only we could have got someone on the end of it. It doesn't really matter, though, because the referee has decided that uh, Kamavinga was fouled as he made that pass. And so the ball will come back for a Forest free kick. There aren't any passing options that are screaming out to me, so I'm thinking about just putting it into the corner and seeing if someone could get to it. Wilson's going to be underneath this one. Can he win the header? If he can, that's a wonderful header. Unfortunately, Arkas completely wastes the opportunity. Salasu misses the tackle. We get away with it, though. Spreads the play out to Ait Nori now. Oh, no. They're covering off the passing avenues very well here, our Atletico. And there's a half-time whistle. And it's a 1-0 lead for Nottingham Forest, thanks to the seventh-minute effort by Kiko Arkas. And you can tell from the muted reception of the crowd that there are very few Nottingham Forest fans who have been able to make the trip here. Looking at the stats, pretty happy with how things are going so far. We're allowing Atletico Madrid to pass the ball around a fair bit, but they're not really doing too much with it. They've had one shot so far, but as we saw in the Bournemouth match, it only takes one opportunity for a team to get level with us. So we need to uh, try to maintain our defence and hopefully get ourselves a second goal. That would make us a little bit more comfortable. That's for certain. I'm really saying the obvious here, but it's nonetheless very true. Oriol Busquets to Wilson. 
Arkas making a run, which Wilson will find him with. Just plays it out wide. Back to Busquets. There's a ball through to say, fuck if he can find him. And he does. Arkas has made an interesting looking run here. Into the middle for Hoshek. And that is. No, he can't get to it. Wilson. Busquets! Oh, what an opportunity for the Spanish midfielder to tuck him away and to put this game beyond reasonable doubt. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Not to be un, uh, unkind to the Spaniard, but you do feel that if Camavinga was in the same place, it might have been a different outcome. Vlosek tries one from outside the box. But it takes a touch off of the defender and uh, the pace and the danger completely removed by that interception. Hernandez is playing quite deep at the moment, considering he's out lead forward. Right, Nori, he's got the ball. What's he going to do with it? He needs to get rid. Plays it long. That's a lovely ball forward. And it was a nice idea by the striker, but Hoshek was unable to get onto the end of that pass. And so Atleti get the ball back and now can come forward again Busquets is moving out wide to try and help out so fuck in this area Renan Lodi to Saul ah so fuck just tackles his man a little bit on the wrong side of the law it's going to be a free kick and a telling off for the Dutch international there's not much to that is there really I think Saul goes down very very easily but now we have to defend this free kick. In it comes. Nobody around it except for Lodi. And it's a free kick to Forrest. I'm unsure as to why. Is it an offside? It is. Antoine Griezmann, a judge to be offside. And he was directly involved in the play. So if it's brought back, it's going to be a kick, uh, free kick, which the goalkeeper is going to take. And again, we're going to try this long high ball toward the corner and see if Wilson can just knock it down well he doesn't knock it down but Arkas could get onto this he doesn't and now we could be in a little bit of trouble it might run out if we're lucky it does and now Arkas round the side of Lodi oh Loshek that's a poor pass that's a very, very poor pass. And I thought that we'd uh, given away a foul there, but in fact it's Busquets who has been fouled. And it'll be a free kick right in the centre circle there. And again, the, the, the free kick options are not particularly favourable, so I'm just going to tell them to shift their positions a little bit. try playing it into Arcas here I guess no we won't because Hernandez has received the ball for some strange reason and he ends up losing it oh Worrell has stumbled there and that could be dangerous for us well we've gotten away with it fortuitously and again we've gotten away with something which we really shouldn't have that was awful uh, Ait Nori now with the ball coming forward in attack plenty of options in front of him Here's Hernandez. Oh, my word. What a take from Hernandez. Oh, my goodness me. Well, if you're going to win a Champions League game, that's the way to do it. What a control by Hernandez. And then a cultured finish to end it. Oh, my goodness me. There's been a few murmurs that he could be being replaced in the front line by Eddie Nketiah. But look at that. Oh, my goodness me. I don't know if he intended it, but what has he done there? What a piece of control. On the outside of his boot, takes the defender out completely and then pops it round the side of the goalkeeper with absolutely no fuss made whatsoever. It's 2-0 to Nottingham Forest on the night. There are 20 minutes left to play. And unless Atletico Madrid can find two goals in the space of those 20 minutes, we're talking about, about Nottingham Forest being Champions League quarter-finalists. Well, this could be the first of those two goals right here, but Nubel does his job exceptionally well. 
it's an easy it looks like an easy take but he had to give it some to make sure now a long ball forward to Arcas can he win the header he can't but Busquets may win the second ball he doesn't have to win it it's just nobody around him here's Zafak can he find a cross into the box that's worthy of the likes of Arcas and Hernandez he can't quite do it I tell you what we're going to do here we're going to substitute the intelligent player that is Arcas for a slightly quicker player in Eddie and Ketia. we'll just push him slightly further forward because I've got a feeling here that we may be able to catch Atletico on the break because they're going to be looking for goals now as Worrell oh he wins that with authority Arcas looking to break through but it's just caught by the defender at the last second taking the danger out of the pass Ait Nori has to get to this he doesn't quite manage it balls through Salasu manages to intercept he's had a good solid game after that awful awful own goal that he scored a couple of games ago he's been out of the side since then actually uh, but he's been nothing but solid today now Ait Nori will play it back to the, uh, the is, is he French I can't remember what nationality Salasu is and now Nori's just going to run it down the left wing plays it forward to Hloshek who's going to come off any second because he's looking knackered here's like still Hoshek. oh Wilson's battling to get to this one first he manages it is a fuck back to Wilson dinked into the box for Arcas it's just behind Arcas he's not going to get to it brilliant interception by Busquets as well I'm just going to play this ball out if I can I can't <laughs> I wanted Hernandez on that ball but I'll settle for Arcas I don't think we're going to get these substitutions made you know we don't it doesn't matter it's 2-0 it's Nottingham Forest into the quarterfinals of the Champions League who would have thought it? Unbelievable scenes here. And of all of the people to score, it seems appropriate that Hernandez, a player that has been with us since very early on in this save, is the one to put the crowning glory on the win with what was an absolutely amazing piece of control to set himself up for the win, for the goal. Uh, just unbelievable. Arcas has turned into a goal-scoring machine, and I'll always have a soft spot for him. But you have to say, Hernandez, absolutely man of the match, just for that finish alone. Goodness gracious me. Talk about top-flight European competition. That was a finish worthy of any of the top-flight teams. Nubel doing his part as well, keeping things safe at the back. Salasu did a really good job in defence today. He was cool and calm when he needed to be. Joe Worrell as well did his job winning the ball in the air, getting rid when he had to and passing it out when he could. Overall, a fantastic team performance. Let's have a look at the ratings. You can see there, we absolutely deserve this. Atletico Madrid travelled like a cheap bottle of Chablis. They didn't travel at all. <laughs> they have been terrible today we were very good I don't know if it was that Madrid were bad or we were just very good it's probably a mixture of the two but uh, they made 21 interceptions they weren't that bad and Hernandez quite rightly getting the man of the match for that superb piece of control and, and the skill I'm, I'm, I'm going to be harping on about that until the cows come home what a brilliant goal that was indeed I can't take any credit for it either. All it was was R2 and pressing the other direction. He made the decision to control it the way he did. Unreal. Absolutely unreal. And so, the first knockout round sees Michiland beat Red Bull Leipzig. Benfica besting PSV Eindhoven. Villarreal knocking out Manchester City. Liverpool getting the best just about of Barcelona 3-2. PSG have knocked out Chelsea. Juventus were absolutely hammered by Real Madrid. Ajax were beaten out by Inter Milan and, of course, Nottingham Forest won the day against Atletico Madrid. I believe, I'm just looking at these results again. Right, so the number of English participants in this tournament have halved. It's just Liverpool and Nottingham Forest now. 
And if you're going to have two teams represent England in European competition at the highest level, you couldn't think of two better teams than the two most historically successful teams in European competition. I say historically because, of course, there are some teams that have overtaken Nottingham Forest recently. But who else has won back-to-back -back Champions Leagues from the island of Britain? Yeah, I can't think of any either. It's just Nottingham Forest. Maybe I'm wrong there. I, I could have forgotten something very recent, like maybe Liverpool won it back to back. I don't know. But uh, what a result. I'm absolutely made up by that. And you're not going to have to wait long until we return because we have a massive FA Cup clash coming up against Chelsea in a couple of games time. And then we've been drawn against Real Madrid. Well, I guess we're going out now then, but uh, we'll do our best. The Spanish odyssey continues as we take on Real Madrid in a couple of days' time. Until then, though, I'm going to bid you adieu. Thank you very much for watching. I, uh, I hope that you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, then uh, feel free to uh, drop a like below and uh, leave a comment and let me know what you thought of that performance and uh, how you think we might do against Real Madrid in a couple of days' time. Till then, thank you very much for watching. Take care. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.